In the 1980s, Michael Tranter used to come to Dorley Park in Telford with his children. But Sarah Jane, Anne Marie, Craig and Stephen were murdered by their mother's second husband in 2000. It's a complicated thing, grief. This man has spent much of the past 21 years blaming himself. I feel as though I've let them down. That's how I feel. I feel so bad. Guilty. I totally think it's my fault and, it's, and I shouldn't think that way. Um, somebody you said they would take the children on and, and live with them as, as being a stepfather. And so I feel as though, you know, it's me that's let them down. I know it isn't, but that's how I feel. Lee Ford strangled the four children and their mother in the Cornish village of Khan Kai in the summer of 2000. The minimum on his life sentence was reduced to 27 years on appeal, meaning he could be out within seven. That terrifies Michael, who has started a petition in a bid to get the sentence debated in Parliament. I'm getting more anxious. Um, obviously, I'm not saying he would come out, but if he did, then there's other people about who would not be safe. Um, so that's on my mind, reoffending. Now, some people would say that we have a criminal justice system in this country. You, you are sentenced for a crime by a judge. Once you've served the sentence, you're considered re rehabilitated and, and you should be released. What would you say to those people in relation to your case? Uh, firstly, um, this chap has took five lives and, and completely messed up a load of other people's lives. Um, to me, life is life. He shouldn't come out. A van driver before the tragedy, Michael now works with vulnerable young people. He says that helping other children brings him closer to the four that he lost. Callum Watkinson, ITV News, Telford.